After a week to make sure he's ready, Yadier Molina will make his Grapefruit League debut tomorrow, catching Wayno against the Astros. Yadier is also important in mentoring the up-and-coming Cardinals like Matthew Liberatore and Jordan Walker. The pitcher and the hitter are the future of the franchise, and they're also tonight's Sunday conversation with Ahmad Hicks. There's a lot of expectations surrounding you. How do you manage them to just be 19 years old? You know, I try not to think about it, you know. I just do what I can control, pretty much. And I, I feel like, you know, I know it's said a lot, but I really take it to heart because if I focus on what I feel like I need to focus on, things will work out. You were a bit, really big, uh, I would say, acquisition for St. Louis, and they have a lot, high expectations for you. How do you manage those and just stay humble and even kill? Um, i kind of been saying this a lot lately, but the saying of being where your feet are and being present in the moment, um, you know, if I spend the whole time thinking about the expectations that I have to live up to, that takes away from my ability to actually live up to those expectations. So for me, it's looking in the mirror every day and trying to make sure that I'm a better version of myself when I go to bed than I was when I woke up. And if I can do that, you know, the only expectations I really have to live up to are my own. So. Um, at the end of the day, if I can put my head on the pillow and feel like I accomplished something that I set out to do that day, I'm, I'm happy with it. How is it being at camp, surrounding yourself with guys like Nolan Arenado, Yadier Molina, Adam Wainwright, all those type of guys? It's great. I mean, I'm learning a lot just from watching them. Um, even if I don't have talks to them, just the way they go about their actions, you know, they joke around with their teammates, obviously, but once they get in the cage or on the field, it's like a switch. Like, they switch it up and they're locked in, ready to play the game, ready to get their work in. So it's really cool to see how they go about it and to see what it takes to get myself to the big leagues. How does being around a guy like Adam Wainwright make you a better pitcher? The experience, the wisdom. Um, you know, Ollie was talking to us in the clubhouse the other day and he said there's two things you can learn from, experience and wisdom. And if you're only learning from experience, you're not doing it right because there's guys who have had the experiences and are willing to share them with you before you have to go out and have those own experiences yourself. Um, and so I think to be able to kind of shadow a guy like Wayno or a guy like Jack and see how they go about their business and not even the conversations, the way they carry themselves, the way they talk, the words that they use when they speak, um, there's just a lot of things that you can pick up and implement into your own game and I think that's been an invaluable part of my development since I've come here. What do you hope to take away from just your career as a Cardinal? Hopefully it's a long extended career, but what do you hope to, the, the, the lasting impact that you hope to leave, what is that? My lasting, well, I've never been asked that question before. Um, I want to be known as a solid baseball player, a player who represents the game of baseball. I want it to be, you know, fun, but also showing that you're devoted to it, showing that it's not just fun. You have to really work at it if you want to get to the big leagues. Because a lot of people out there think, you know, you drive a Dell, you're just going to be immediately in the big leagues. Like sometimes like in the NFL, sometimes you just go straight to the NFL. That's not how it works. There's a lot of people you have to compete against to get to where you're at. And so I want it to be fun, but I also want to show that devotion to the game. And you got to love the game to really to really have success in it. What does it mean to be a part of that young core, Nolan Gorman, Jordan Walker, you, Juan, that's going to be the face of St. Louis in years to come? I think it's exciting. Um, you know, you get in the clubhouse day one of spring training and they start talking about World Series and they start talking about how it starts now. And, you know, I get the chills about that because that's what I play this game for. Um, I love to win. I love to compete. I love the mental battle that goes on between the pitcher and the hitter. Um, and, you know, I, I long to play for the team instead of myself. So. Um, you know, being able to be a part of such a young, exciting, up and coming group that has a lot of talent and a lot of potential um, makes me really excited because I feel like we have a good opportunity to accomplish those things. A lot of young black kids are probably going to be looking up to you. What does that mean to you in a game that doesn't have a lot of African American players for you possibly to be the face one day? It means a lot, honestly. I want to represent, I want this game to have a lot more black players and I want to inspire black kids to come play the game. I want to show that it's fun and you got to work hard at it and things like that. So I want to be that representation. So that's really also what I'm looking forward to and working for in this organization as well. The last question I have for you, for St. Louis fans, for those who don't know about you, what type of player are you? What type of person are you? What can they expect for years to come? I'm going to take them out and compete. It doesn't matter if you cut off my left arm or tie it behind my back and I got to go out with my right arm. I'm going to find a way to win and get the job done. And, you know, like I said before, I love playing this game because I love winning and I love competing. So at the end of the day, if I can go out and give my team the best opportunity to win possible, uh, I'll be happy with the job I did.